Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Chase on Two Wheels here at Mountain Motorsports in Roswell, Georgia. We have in front of us, my friends, a used 2018 Ducati Panigale V4R. A $50,000 hypersport beast of a race bike that is somehow road legal. This is a used model the previous owner put 2,000 miles and he put GP shift on. Mountain has reminded me that it's GP shift try my best not to kill himself uh we've also got uh aftermarket grips it looks like uh what else do we got oh we've got the acro already on it but that's a you can get that from ducati so you know that is what it is we've got little grips here and i think other than that guys we're relatively stock if you guys have one of these and you know something that's on here that's not stock let us know down in the comments. You know what the deal is. It's an expensive Panigale, a Ducati. We're doing this thing. Make sure to hit that like button because the more likes I get, the more expensive bikes I get to ride. That's a lie. We rode a Superleggera. Don't think it's getting any more expensive than that. All right, guys. You know what we got to do. Let's get it started. My friends, here we are. That's what the bike looks like. That's what, that's what the bike sounds like. Uh, my apologies for the uh, sound check. It's hard to get the audio for these style motorcycles. They are so loud, but we do the best we can. And guys, before I get this bike cranked up, we have got to give a shout out to our sponsor, Simply Safe. If it wasn't for them, we would not have the dope camera car footage that we use in this video. So uh, make sure to tell them thanks in the comments down below if you are happy that we got that uh, camera car footage. But after that, we'll get this thing cranked up. Guys, this episode is brought to you by Simply Safe, and today we're going to go install a new system into my buddy's house that he just moved into. For you guys that don't know, Simply Safe is an incredibly effective, reliable home security system that will make sure your home or shop is safe. If you've been feeling worried about safety, but putting off dealing with it, you don't have to wait another minute. Simply Safe makes it really easy to secure your home. You just order it online or over the phone, it's delivered right to your home, and you set it up yourself in under an hour. From there, your home or shop is professionally monitored 24 seven. If anything happens, they'll make sure to make sure the police get called. They've got sensors that cover every window, room and door plus lots of great extras like water sensors temperature sensors and hd cameras it's all really easy to use and you get around the clock protection for just 50 cents a day with no contracts they've even won the u.s news and world reports best overall home security for 2020 with my buddy dj just moving into his new house i knew this was a perfect time to get him set up with a simply safe system i've been using the same system in both my house and my shop and i've really enjoyed the experience and i trust the service so i know 
know he will too. So setting up the sensors here at DJ's place was incredibly simple. He will even tell you he is terrible with tech and as you guys can see, he was able to install a ton of the stuff by himself without me even helping him. So here at his place, we ended up putting some motion sensors and entry sensors down in his garage, which is dope by the way. We put a couple entry sensors and motion sensors here in the base level as well, and that way he is totally set up. He might even be grabbing a few glass break sensors since as you guys can see, there's so much glass around here. And then out in his garage, just to make sure his pretty four-wheeled vehicles are safe, we've got motion sensors and his HD cameras out here as well. Okay, so all the sensors are installed on this floor down in the Gucci basement. So to be safe, let's hit home, make sure everything works. Okay, you are now home, you are now safe. If anybody breaks in, anybody tries to take your stuff, police gonna get called and come straight out. So you should be good at this point. All right, so guys, if you're looking for a reliable home security or a security system for your workspace, I can highly recommend Simply Safe. I've really loved the product and I think you guys will too. If you wanna check them out, you can at the link in the description below or go to simplysafe.com slash chase. That's simplysafe.com slash C-H-A-S-E. Thank you Simply Safe for sponsoring this video and without further ado, let's get back to the video. I've done everything I can. I've, I've tried to put this off as much as possible, but here we go. GP shifted Panigale V4R. Thank you Simply Safe for allowing me to spend a little more time not on this crazy machine. All right guys, I'm 5'10", I got a 32 inch inseam and I cannot even close to flat foot. I can tippy toe it. But uh, we, we are on a taller machine here. Let's get it cranked up and let's go. All right, so if you guys don't know what GP shift is, typically on a motorcycle, uh, if you're in neutral and you shift down, it's first gear, and then it's up, it's second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. GP shift takes all of that and it flips upside down. First, neutral is here, first is here, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. So it is a little bit strange. Um, this is the same mode stuff as the other Panigales, right? Okay, street, sport, race. We are definitely starting in street mode, going up to get in first. And ladies and gentlemen, we're off. Also, I don't know if you guys can tell from the sound check, but this thing's got a dry clutch, which is uh, the reasoning it has that very specific sound. Oh, we get to go. Thank God, because it's hot today. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, 2018 Panigale V4R. So guys, uh, if you guys didn't know, I did ride a brand new uh, Super Legera, which is essentially a V4R with carbon fiber bits on it, essentially. It's, it's a little more than that, but that's basically what it is. This thing comes in at a bargain of $50,000. And uh, it's got all of their top spec race stuff in it, so this thing should be disgusting to ride around uh, but we got a lot of stuff to talk about and let's start off with our body position guys um we have a relatively comfortable seat uh it's a little on the firmer side but feels really good on in this body's position i am in a race spec bike and i am in a race spec position guys i'm leaned way forward arms are dropped almost vertically down and my legs are up in a tucked up position. I will say, now that I'm in this position, it, it, it's a comfortable feel. I, I feel like I feel like I should on this bike. I feel like I'm, I'm ready to go, ready to race. The bike feels exactly as I would expect it, guys. I do really like these grips, these uh, domino grips. I'm here for that. They got a good feel. I, I feel like I got a lot of grip down here. All right, so up. Uh, uh, do we have quick shifter up and down? Yes, we do. Very nice. I would expect nothing less on a uh, on a fifty thousand dollar motorcycle. Uh, I mean, we're stuck at a red light, so let's talk about the dash real quick, guys. Uh, this is basically the same dash I've seen on all the other Panigales, and as I've told you guys, I love this dash for one reason or a few reasons. Uh, we've got a lot of info, but if you look in the bottom right of the screen, I can change my ABS, my engine braking, my slide control, wheelie control. I can change all of that quickly and then if I want the button over here I can hold the mode button and then I can go up through the modes so uh, I've said this before I feel like Ducati has made it 
they're probably doing the best as far as how they organize their screen to make things very uh, easy for the rider and rideable. I wouldn't have expected Ducati to come through on that. I, I'm very happy to see them making solid full colored screens. I, I love that. Now we've only gone a couple miles down the road and I gotta say that the one thing that is really coming across to me right now is the visceral feel that this bike has. It, I, I'm trying to figure out how to word this guys. In the past, you know, Ducatis were very hard to ride, you know, a few years ago. And uh, I've made the comment recently on some of the, you know, Ducati first rides I've done that Ducati has done a phenomenal job recently of making their bikes very rideable. And uh, I, I think that's an amazing thing for the general rider. Uh, you know, making, making your modes easy to control because you know, you got a lot of settings in this thing. Um, and making it easy to make sense of all those settings is a very good thing. But it has also, I mean, granted, it's taken a little of the character out of the bikes. Uh, so it's, you know, it's a pros and cons list type thing. But the cool thing about this bike, this is probably one of the first uh, Ducatis I've ridden in quite a while that feels like it has some of that Italian character. I don't know if that's the dry clutch. I don't know if it's the specific engine. Uh, by the way, guys, this bike revs to 16 and a half thousand RPM. That is insanely high. I believe this bike has titanium internals over the regular Panigale V4. Now, if you're wondering how this bike's able to rev to 16 and a half grand, I believe the internals have like titanium or something like that. They're lighter weight internals and it allows this bike to rev to ungodly amounts. Uh, and I don't, I don't plan on getting up to 16 and a half grand, but we'll have to see how the first ride plays out. But I will say, you know, kind of moving back and forth in the lane, this bike feels grossly light which is nice it's taking no energy to go back and forth in the lane and this isn't even the super Legera. the super Legera could definitely was definitely like that but it had all those carbon fiber parts this thing it doesn't look at the look at the mirror shaking holy shit the super Legera has all the carbon fiber bits so that makes sense why it's so light to ride and uh easy to move around because it's pretty lightweight this thing's a regular one and it feels phenomenal love the quick shifter quick shifter feels good too look at that i love the way that feels man that gets me excited yeah guys that quick shifter feels solid i mean this is stuff you would expect if you're gonna pay this kind of cash bro you better you better have some nice stuff on your bike we got this carbon fiber little fairing piece here and it looks like a brushed aluminum tank um that's one of the ways you can tell the v4r from the s if you guys notice, we have those little carbon fiber winglets up in the front. And uh, something I'm really interested in while we're sitting here, I'm going to go ahead and get it in sport mode. Um, one thing I'm really interested in is uh, the Panigale Superleggera, the V4. It had extra winglets. I think it had like two on each side. And that bike was super light on the road. But then when we got on the highway and we got some uh, wind going, those winglets really made the bike feel solid and stuck to the ground. So we don't have as many winglets here, so I'm interested to see how they're going to feel. Oh my god, this bike feels at home, leaned over, man. That is, even going at low speed. My god, Panigale has probably got the, my favorite transmission right now, man, honestly. Of all the bikes I've ridden, I think they're my favorite. Just the way they feel, the way it engages in the gear. I, ha I don't remember getting any like false neutrals or anything like that and it's just such a good feeling and when you pair that with this dry clutch if you guys can hear the bike do you guys hear that that's that dry clutch and if you heard when we cranked it up you almost have like two cycles of and then it cranks up I love the hell out of the way this bike sounds you get all of the tech that comes with the top spec race bike 
but you get it in like this platform of like old school Ducati where things are rustling and grinding in, in a good way. I don't mean that in a bad way. Um, this this bike is an, an experience to ride and uh, I know a lot of you guys probably won't get the opportunity, but man, if for whatever reason, if you ever did, so cool. Goodness, just power ready to go whenever you're ready. And then going back and forth, I can already feel those winglets working. We're only going, what, 70? Bro, I cannot wait for the highway. You get all of the lightweightness, but then you get the, the pros of having a heavy motorcycle with the winglets. I, <laughs> I am a proponent for winglets. I would have never thought I'd have said that, but dude, I am. You, it gives you the best of both worlds. It lets you say, he, hey, here's a light motorcycle that's super maneuverable, and then when it needs to be heavy where it would help, you got winglets to do that. I just realized that I'm not even touching 8,000 RPMs, guys. That is not even half. Oh my God, it's, gonna, it's hard to ride this. I'll tell you about it. It's not hard to ride this. It's hard to ride this to its extreme. I'm going to intentionally get up to like 15 grand on the highway just so you guys can experience that. And also, let's not play ourselves, guys. This is a race machine. This thing is not great on the, on the roads. I can already tell the bike getting really hot, specifically in my crotch. Uh, there is a lot of heat already, and we haven't even hit that many red lights. So... I'm going to hope we can continue that because if it's, if, if I get stuck at a bad red light, I'm, I might legit get off the bike. Like it's, it's that hot. Oh my God. I just shifted and I felt it in the clutch. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. And we're not even on the highway yet. All right. Well, we're here boys. We are here on the highway. We are on a V4R and it would be a disservice to you guys if I didn't put this thing in race mode. Oh, the little circle turns red. I love that. I wonder if it does that in the other ones. I'll have to go back and watch one of the first rides. All right, guys, we're in race mode. Uh, whatever race mode means, I imagine it gives me everything if I can handle it. So, whew, 2018 V4R. Let's go. I will touch 16,000 RPMs. I'm doing it for you, fam. And guys, as you know, we're here in Mexico. Uh, so Mexican authorities, I am very sorry to have to do what I have to do. I'm just doing my job. It doesn't look like there's a lot of traffic, so we're going to have to navigate this pretty safely. This video was done by professional driver, stunt drivers. I love the way it feels when it shifts. Keep in mind, guys, I'm in third gear just so you guys can hear me when I talk. That's the only reason I'm in third gear. All right, we'll get over one more time. Let's play with third. By the way, I'm sorry if you're not gonna be able to hear me for the next couple seconds. My apologies. Keep an eye on that tag. even flirting with it man that's all I've got that's all I'm doing Anybody need an adrenaline rush? Because I've got a ride you can get on. Oh my goodness. Ho 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 ho! Woo! The last time I rode a bike that made revs like this was an R6. And anytime you downshifted and you got this sound, that's when you know something's about to go down. Ho, ho, ho! 
<laughs> um, I don't really know what to say about the highway section. Kind of ruined that for you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was gross. I do not recommend riding a motorcycle like that. Please don't. The amount of power is disgusting, guys. The higher you get this thing in the revs, it gets happier and happier and happier. And I, I have to say, going in a straight line at that speed, oh, and here in the turn, dude, I might as well be locked down on a rail. Oh my God, dude. This is one of those bikes, guys. You, you don't realize how purpose-built this thing is until you make it go fast or you make it go to the side. Either one of those situations and suddenly you're like, oh, that's why they built that. My goodness, this bike feels so good when you push it. My Lord. All right, we lived. We lived to ride another day, boys. Wow, guys, those, so the winglets, I, I know they, some people don't like the way winglets look, and I get that, you know, it's kind of a personal thing. Let me get this in a couple gears up so you guys can hear me. Uh, guys, winglets are so cool. You, it gives you literally the best of both worlds. When you're at speed or you're pushing the bike, the wind is holding the bike down to the ground. It's like F1 level stuff. And then when you get back on the road, we've got it in street mode here, it's still light as anything. It takes no energy to get this thing going back and forth. Oh man. So guys, before we keep this conversation going, I'm gonna throw it to my guys over in the camera car. Guys, what do y'all think about this Panigale V4R? I think it's a wonderful, fantastic bike. I don't know how much of it we'll get to see out on the, the street. Kind of wish we could go to the track and, and do some laps with it there. But the thing sounds absolute, absolutely vicious. Yeah, and it looks great. You know, the winglets are are a bit funky, but uh, I kind of dig it. You know, they did it in carbon fiber, so it's always going to be a plus in my book. But yeah, love it. Super cool machine, purpose built to fit within the race homologation. Um, a little bit more raw than uh, the the rest of the Pentagali line. I, I prefer machines that are a little bit more raw like that. A little bit less rider aid, a little bit, a little bit more visceral. Uh, super cool bike, lots of power, lots of upgraded internal parts, dry clutch. Cool bike, I like it. All right, guys, thank you for in the camera car. Uh, guys, it, it, this is one of those uh, first rides where it doesn't really matter what I say about the bike, because not a ton of you guys are really going to be looking to purchase this, but dude what a cool experience ducati is somehow they're putting opposites in the same bike so the what i mean by that you've got the super lightweightness of the bike makes it super flickable super light to throw back and forth in the lane typically that comes with a downfall of non like having less stability because you don't have any weight they put a couple carbon fiber winglets on the side Boop, there you go. Now, when you need to be held down to the ground, you got air doing it for you. The other thing that they have mixed is they have this super brand new technological masterpiece of a motorcycle. They put this engine with titanium components and a dry clutch. So you get that just, that you can feel it in your, in your throat. Kinda old school vibe of a motorcycle just Chigada, chigada, chigada. So you feel like you're on this old retro thing, but you are on the most up-to-date technological masterpiece with all the bells and whistles, all the ABS, the traction control, like you have everything that, but you get that sound or that sound or any sound this motorcycle makes. Oh, just getting the hell out of my way. I love it. I am loving what Ducati is doing on these Panigales, man. The one thing I can tell you guys, the highway section helped a little bit, 
but bro the level of heat i feel between my legs and i'm going 70 miles an hour is disgusting like I, my leg my inner thigh is getting hot like like not warm but like if we get at a red light i'm highly considering turning the bike off it is that level of hot but you guys got to keep in mind they're building this motorcycle to be a race replica bike hypothetically in the environment this thing is built to be in you it's either on and flying down a track or it's off and parked underneath a, a underneath like a little uh canopy or something like that this thing ain't made to not go which is it, it makes it nice man purpose-built machine for a reason and here we go here's a red light i'm gonna keep the bike on just so i can tell you guys how hot it's getting hopefully I, i'm not gonna turn it off i'm just gonna suffer through it and i'll be able to tell you guys how bad it gets hopefully a car comes up behind me okay cool because if this red light didn't change dude I, uh yeah something else i'm noticing guys here on the uh tack we've got or not tack but on the cluster we've got a little gps beacon and uh if the v4r is anything like the other super bike level top notch bikes I imagine this has got GPS enabled so you can get your track times. I think I was reading also that this bike has a limiter for your speed in a pit. How it does that, I don't know. If you guys know, please let everybody know in the comments down below. But how, do you have to set that? Do you have to set the bike to limit yourself inside the pit lane or something like that? It's race thing, so... It's really cool that Panigale's built this around somebody that's going to race. You know what? Here, I'm going to give you guys the unobstructed view. Here, so I'm gonna just going to modify my engine hawk jacket so I'll remember. Don't forget, Chase, don't forget, GP shift. I appreciate all the guys at Mountain for trying to keep me as safe as possible. I really don't want to have to do another wreck bike rebuild Panigale bike. All right. Just from standing still back there. Ooh. Just from standing still back there, guys, that heat starts building so fast. Also, I was reminded that something else the old school Panigales have. If you are riding this thing under 3,000 RPMs, this guy is not happy at all. It wants to be going, it wants its neck to be wrung, and if you do all that, it feels great. And if you don't do that, it is a pissed off bull that you just uh, branded. It, it just is gonna buck around, you know, not feel good at all. So, you know, if you guys are buying this bike, keep that kind of stuff in mind, man. I find it part of the character of a Ducati to be like that. And I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like it. It feels kinda like scary, like you, you unpredictable, but it's predictable. It's acting exactly like I expected it to. One of my favorite parts of this bike right here. Auto blipper on the downshifts. Better than any person is ever going to be able to do it. So good, dude. Can we please go? Yerp. Just casual, 10 grand. If I pull the if I pull the throttle in right now, I will shoot forward at Mach 2. Oh shit. <laughs> or the front wheel will just lift up. <laughs> thank God I am in track mode. Or uh, thank God I'm in street mode. Woo! My good oh that's evil. Oh, you did not just do that. Unfortunate. Shame on this man. Shame on this man for ruining all of our fun. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. Guys, the power delivery on this bike is exactly as you would expect it. The higher you go, the more power you get. If I remember correctly, the peak horsepower or something like that, it is high, like 12 or 15, something like that. It is way on up there. So. You guys, can you imagine riding this bike in its peak power zone? You would have to be screaming down a track. I, I mean, there's nowhere legally in the US that you can ride this in its peak power, even in first gear. We were just going 69 at like 9,000 RPMs. We had like 14 to go, guy. 
it's insane you just got to be super careful it is kind of cool that while i don't recommend it at all we're here riding on the street we're in street mode and you know i've got it a couple gears up from where i really should be hell i'll get in fifth gear you have to be in fifth gear going 50 just so you don't get a, even then look at the throttle if you give it too much you get thrown back even then you got to be careful this what i guess i'm saying is the bike has no chill none at all we if i go into a higher gear i'm gonna start bogging the bike down there is no way of smoothly riding this motorcycle and uh you know this is just one of those expert level bikes guys uh this is a bike that you got to have a lot of money and a lot of experience to get anything out of it look at that we got a little honda brethren up here guys what's up sir all right guys we're coming up on our uh pull in spot we're gonna pull in here and take a walk around the bike check it out show it off just a little more before we wrap this video up we'll touch on the brakes uh once we get done in here guys realize i haven't talked about them quite yet we'll neutral this thing all the way in trying not to scare the people here trying to get an exercise in Alrighty, righty v4r let's do it kickstand's in a hard spot to get to personally god this thing is so loud all righty ladies and gentlemen there we are 2018 ducati panigale v4r look at the winglets dude i'm super curious at how those are held on are they literally just attached to the fairing i mean it looks like the fairing's flexing a little bit that is insane here's that gas tank i was talking about got that brushed aluminum so the main ways to tell you're looking at a v4r obviously you can look at the side here v4r but carbon uh carbon fiber winglets and uh brushed aluminum gas tank very cool looking bike here's one of the things about this bike i love look at the exhaust they're kind of tucked away and you can see this one a little bit but look how clean the tail is now granted that's another looks like an aftermarket part that uh the previous owner got they put a little uh license plate delete kit thing so it's tucked up under there olin suspension totally can tell that such a good looking bike man i i think the panigales are at the peak of oh excuse me i turned it off right <laughs> okay fans just randomly kicked on uh guys i think it, this is just a pinnacle of engineering right here uh, i'm gonna put my phone out and let's uh we're gonna take a photo over for instagram if you guys aren't following us we are at c2dubpix but yeah guys over on instagram we make sure to post photos of all of our first ride adventures and the behind the scenes of the rest of the channel so uh we highly recommend you checking it out and uh if you go check out this photo make sure to hit the like button on it and let us know you uh, watched the first ride on this thing such a good bike man i love the red i love everything about this other than the heat the heat is honestly the thing that's getting to me again we're riding this in a manner that the bike's not made to be ridden that crank up my guy i love it i feel like i'm back in the day i jumped on an old monster or something like that it's got that dry clutch oh it, it is oh it is it sets off that riding experience and gets you ready for what this bike is about to give you and that is so cool such a such a neat experience to have guys i didn't touch on the brakes uh but or i didn't touch on the levers at all i don't think but from what i've noticed <laughs> granted you guys have seen i haven't done a ton of braking here but we got Brembo brakes. We have the highest expectation out of them. And, uh, you know, one finger, I can come to a very strong stop. Brakes seem like they come on really strong really quickly. But in a race machine, you got to be ready for stuff, man. So you're uh, this thing's ready to stop you on a dime if necessary. But it's got the best of both worlds, right? It can stop you very quick and it can go very quick. So you kind of have to have both of those together. All right, guys, as our mirrors shake, uh shake what their mama gave them uh we're gonna end this first right up this like i said expert level bike the person i see with this motorcycle uh ideally right i, I really hope some just like somebody with a lot of money doesn't just buy one of these and puts it in a room that would be a disservice 
you know that's if you got that kind of money go get a super legera it's a unique thing don't ride it around fine this thing you get basically all the pros out of the super the super legera minus a little bit of weight uh it's a little heavier but it rides like a super legera it is such a performance machine and it is my hope that the person that buys this motorcycle uh you know being being honest i hope they do a lot of track days and uh, i hope they take this thing to track days because you're going to get every dollar out of what you spent on this bike at a track day with this um i mean if you got this kind of cash you could get it for a street bike but let me go ahead and tell you guys all that money you're going to spend and you are going to be so uncomfortable you got to ride the thing around the street in fourth or fifth gear just so it's not being herky jerky at high at uh road speeds you know these you know under look at that this is in first gear in first gear it's acting like that oh god a red light perfect this is it's exactly what we needed yeah i'm turning this thing off it's too hot I'm not doing it so in a situation like this if i got this red light that i know is going to be a couple minutes this bike I don't even want to know, guys. I, I literally think I will get blisters on my leg if I leave the bike on. It is that hot. It is just not... You can't use this thing here on the road. Now, we've had a great time here on this first ride. I don't deny that. There are so many more motorcycles that don't have as many negatives riding it around the street that you could get for half the money of this. If you have 50 grand and you're looking for a pinnacle race bike... I mean, here you go. Should you get this over an R1M, you know, for 30 grand? I don't know. I don't think so. But, I mean, if you want that Ducati essence, this bike 100% has that. Which is cool because the V4S doesn't. I'm going to be honest, guys. I didn't even know the V4R was such a different motorcycle. I thought that the V4R would be just like the V4S, except maybe some titanium internals and a slightly better uh, suspension. This thing is heads and tails over the v4s oh look there's the pit button i wonder if we can hit the pit button like what's that do pit limiter activated well that's cool so it's a pit limiter you there's a literal button do we know what the limit is i, I want to know what the limit is but i also don't want to get myself in a dangerous position I wish I had a position or a way to test it. All right, I'm not gonna test it. We're on the street. I don't wanna mess with something, but that's cool. We found the pit button. It took the entire first drive, but we found it. Anyways, guys, this is a pur purpose-built race machine. If you're looking for a purpose-built race machine and you got 50 grand, then bro, you are gonna be happy. Uh, if you don't, there are plenty of other motorcycles that you, oh my God, another red light. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna burn to death in this video here with you guys. All right, guys, I'm Chase on Two Wheels. Before I get out of here, i got to give a huge shout-out to my guys over at Mountain Motorsports. For some reason, they give me keys to these things and let me ride them around for you guys. And without them, I would not have access to all these bikes. So if you guys are in the North Georgia area, they are a huge dealership. they got five or six locations up here in North Georgia. Use that link in the description to find some information out about Mountain. And if you're looking for a bike, oh, my God, it's hot. You can get a discount at Mountain. I am go My balls are burning. They are, I think my left one's on fire right now. We need to go so I can like extinguish it. Anyways, guys, check out Mountain. I love them long time. Wouldn't be able to do these first rides without them. Uh, you guys go out there and ride safe. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more motorcycle content. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Uh, later. Oh my God, it's hot. All right, outro crew, thank you for getting to the end of the video. If you did, you're part of the outro crew now. Drop a comment. Make sure to put OC in it. That way I know you got to the end of it. And uh, I gotta, I'm got i curious, guys. How many of y'all do enough track days to justify spending $50,000 on a race replica motorcycle? Very curious. Outro crew, I love you guys longer. We'll see you on the next one. Y'all go out there and ride safe. Later. Later.